I heard that you're really into extreme adventures. So if you were given a chance to do the highest or longest zip line in the world or a skydive from an airplane, would you do it or have you done it? As a matter of fact, I have. Uh, I've done zip line, but uh, I wouldn't say it's the longest and the highest of mm -hmm. zip line because uh, it's one of those that I see something made by me and my friends. But when I was during my younger days, right, it's about five story high and about a hundred meter long, uh, mm -hmm. literally tied from an apartment on the fifth floor to a tree below. Oh my god! <laughs> and how is it? <laughs> okay, uh, I had to stop because uh, it broke three quarter way down when I was on it. So thank God, didn't break my bones. Oh God! Uh, but I only got goosebumps. <laughs> yeah. So so far, what's the scariest adventure that you've done, or you've uh, tried? Actually, uh, skydiving, and uh, uh, I did it in uh, Indonesia with a bunch of uh, Indonesian commandos. So they mm -hmm. kind of trained. So I, I was trained to be a certified skydiver. Wow. And then uh, actually, uh, it, it's about fourteen thousand feet. And uh, it's a solo uh, free fall dive. You know, it's not those one of those tandem where actually you got an instructor behind you. So to me, uh, it's the highest jump off any platform. Subconsciously, uh, you know, you try to pacify yourself that uh, you have a safety net, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. which is actually the chute will open automatically oh, okay. at 2,000 feet. Yes. Uh, oh my gosh, that's uh, too high. It opens, you know. Because if you freeze up there and you do not know what to do, that's it. Then you'll be in trouble. <laughs> so, being one of the art gurus, what trends do you foresee um, in graphics and design um, in the future, let's say five to 10 years from now? Um, do I see it? It will be mostly in digital form, like uh, VR or AR. Mm -hmm. you know, nowadays, you see them a lot. Yes, augmented reality, yeah, absolutely. It's common in TikTok or Instagram. And uh, yeah, it, I mean, it needs to consist motion graphics, 3D animation, and some realism art. So, I mean, because it takes a lot to captivate your audience nowadays. Yes. Uh, so, static ones won't do. So in right, a way. right. Then it again, needs to be very interactive, isn't it? It is. It is <laughs> interactive and immersive.